There's three main ways that I've successfully built dropshipping businesses with free organic traffic. You can list products from popular retail websites on online marketplaces for slightly more. Some examples of these marketplaces include Facebook Marketplace, Poshmark, Mercari, OfferUp, Kitizen, Vinted, Bonanza, Grailed, and Curtsy. The reason this is so effective is because it's completely free to list on these places. So if you're willing to put the effort and time in, you can make decent money doing this. The volume approach is the simplest way to succeed because of this. But you also want to mix in good product research as well. Basically see what's already selling on the platform for other sellers and then just list stuff like that. It sounds simple, but it's effective. The next way is to drop ship print on demand designs on Etsy. You can create designs yourself, or you can see what's already working for other sellers on the platform, draw inspiration from it, and then put your own spin on it for a very similar design. That way, you know, it's already gotten sales and there's a high likelihood that it might sell for you too. Now, if you don't have any graphic design experience, there's a ton of free YouTube tutorials that can teach you how to do it pretty well in about 30 minutes. And you can even use a free software like Canva to create them. Or if you're like me, you can simply just hire somebody to create them for you. Now, I found a phenomenal graphic designer on onlinejobs.ph for $2 an hour, and he creates all the designs for me. Then when you have a design, you can simply use a company like Printful, which will automatically integrate with your Etsy store. They'll print the design on a t-shirt, a mug, or whatever you want, ship it to the customer, and then also input the tracking number into your Etsy order all automatically for you. They'll just charge a small fee, but only after you make the sale and after you're guaranteed the profit. On Etsy, it does cost you 20 cents every time you list something, but that's super cheap. And if you list a hundred items, that's only $20. So it only takes one or two sales and then the rest is profit. And the third is to drop ship on Amazon. Now drop shipping on Amazon is different than drop shipping on pretty much every other platform, mainly in the way that the products are showcased to customers on the website. On other sites, when you search for a product, there can be many listings for that same product. On Amazon, however, there's only one listing for each product, which means you compete for sales on specific listings, not in search as a whole. That does make finding profitable products to drop ship a little bit tougher, but you can automate the majority of it with software. Once you do find a good product, it's pretty much hands off for you. Plus the shelf life of that product can be a lot longer and it can sell over and over and over again without pretty much any more work on your part. I also drop ship wholesale products on Amazon as well, but we're just talking specifically about drop shipping retail products in this video, which is much more beginner friendly. It is technically against Amazon's terms of service to drop ship from other retail websites. So make sure that you're not doing it from any big box retailers directly that compete with Amazon. For example, Target, eBay, Home Depot, Bed Bath & Beyond, Walmart, etc. If you're drop shipping from obscure retail suppliers that customers won't recognize, then you'll be fine. To help find profitable products, I use a software called Source Mogul. It compares hundreds of retail websites and the products on them to Amazon's catalog of millions of products. And it shows you the difference in price on website to website, which makes finding profitable products beyond easy. Then after I find profitable products to list, I list them on Amazon and I'll use the free repricer in Seller Central to match the buy box price and the free Amazon FBA calculator, which is also in Seller Central to find my break even price. And I'll set that minimum price in the repricer. That way I never make a sale where I'm losing money. After that, I use a software called SkewGrid to check prices and check stock changes on my supplier's website. So I never sell a product that's out of stock or where the price has drastically increased and I'm no longer profitable. SkewGrid also integrates automatically into your Amazon Seller Central too, and will automatically update your product stock and price according to how you set it. And those are the three ways that I've been able to build a successful dropshipping business with free organic traffic, no ads.